A large part of guitars, guitar ownership, and being a player is maintenance and upkeep. Uh, now, this is an instrument I built for myself uh, out of one of Crimson Guitars' kits at, it was actually live at a woodworking show about a year ago now. And I love it, I play it a lot. And uh, I broke a string the other day. Now, that is a good time to strip it down, clean the fretboard off and uh, oil it up, etc., and do a little bit of basic maintenance. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! I'm taking the opportunity to finally see what all the fuss is about with these GraphTech ratio tuners. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, there's a link in the description below to, uh, to the video where I made this, or videos, I suppose. I've been experimenting with texture for a little while, and uh, yeah, I went a little bit crazy with fire in this case. So I start by loosening off the strings. These are all old and going to be sacrificed, so I'm just going to snip them off. When strings are fully under tension and you take the wire cutters to them, it shocks the system a little bit. I don't think that would damage modern tuners, but uh, vintage ones uh, have been known to actually break uh, with a sudden release of tension. Now these are locking tuners I'm taking out. I tend to use the nut block to loosen all of these. It is just convenient, I suppose. Available at crimsonguitars.com, of course. I need to put a logo on this. While we're here, I'm gonna cut my, uh, I'm gonna cut my initial into the top. Now, one of the things I'm gonna have to deal with is that the GraphTech tuners do not have screw holes and uh, aren't gonna cover the holes that are existing in here. I think, I think I have no choice but to get out a blowtorch. So sad. <laughs> yeah, okay, just a little one, just to see what's happening. Hmm, I don't think she's got enough gas. No. I'm gonna have to fill those holes first. Uh, Toothpicks, perfect. So with super glue, I will put a dab of super glue on a surface and then apply from there. I know I'm about to burn the hell out of this, but uh, you know, it does be precise. <laughs> what? Chisel. Moving swiftly on. Now I could stain those and leave it, but you know, this guitar lends itself to uh, what I'm about to do. Oh, hello. Well, there we go, success. This torch is actually for brazing, not, not for this. But I also don't want something with a bigger flame because I don't want to damage the rest of the neck. Directionality, everyone. Wait. If only somebody would invent something to hold the guitar neck up. Oh wait, that's nice and hot. Next up, remove the excess soot, etc., with a liming brush. Uh, it's basically a, a brass or bronze wire brush. It's fairly gentle, or a suede brush will do. And then we're going to use Crimson's Grain Enhancing Filler, Gold, of course, uh, to get in the cracks. There you go. Fairly cool. Huh, that's taking off more than I'd hoped. I don't think that's how I did it last time. Of course it isn't. So, back to the fire. Rewind. Go. 
I normally don't enjoy redoing work, but in this case, for some reason, I don't mind. So that's what we're playing with. While that uh, sits and cures, I'm going to I'm going to open up the new tuners. Multi-geared tuning technology. Due to the difference in core diameters, da, 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 basically turn a knob, and if you've got the right string on the right tuner, it's a whole tone. Bump makes it nice and easy. Included free. Inviso match mounting plates. Four sets of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't need to fill those screw holes uh, at all um, in any way, shape, or form. None of this was required. Ho hub. Ah, oh, crikey. Come on then. Let's have a look at these things. One should read the instructions first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, six in line. So we've got these little locating nubs. I don't like the. I don't really like those two little dimples in the tuning key, personally. Okay. Triple chrome plated, apparently. <laughs> there are the plates. Ah, typical. Okay, so these Invisi match mounting plates, they are not triple plated in anything. So they, they don't look anywhere near as luxurious as, as the tuners themselves. So, well, anyway, that is what it is. I, I, I imagine that actually going and adding these free in with each set and chrome plating each individual one or gold plating, etc., would be a problem. But still, here we go. So I've got the locking set, they do standard, and they do opened backed ones as well. I'd be quite interested in seeing some of those, actually, that's quite cool. Um, and various different tuning key styles as well. Classic, contemporary, contemporary mini, vintage, and an acoustic contemporary. Hmm. Well, I mean, Graph Tech, Canadian company, these are made in Korea, I think, to their specs. It says something like that somewhere. Manufactured in Korea. Um, yeah. I think these are going to be good. Okay. My unnecessarily complicated headstock refinishing has, uh, it's dried a little bit. So I'm going to just hit it with some 240 grit sanding paper and we'll get rid of some of the gold on the high patches and uh, try and match the body. I need to go coarser. I should probably leave this to cure for a little bit longer, but uh, I'm impatient. That'll do. Guitar finishing oil. It's soaking in a lot. All right. Well, that cures. I'm gonna. My pencil has run out of lead. This is very soft. That'll do. Okay. If I was selling this guitar, I would do uh, more than. I'd probably put two or three more coats on. But uh, 
this is fine. Next time I change the strings, I'll come back in and do this again. And let's put these tuners in. So, I'm assuming one is the bass. No, six is the bass. Always read the instructions, everybody. So, let's continue reading the instructions. Do we have a drilling template? Oh, look at those. Those look cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so there isn't a drilling template for where those go. I have a very soft headstock, so I can just press that in and I should be able to see where we are. Another option. There is a chance this might pull some finish away, but uh, given that we've just put oil on, it's unlikely. There we go, so, the, so it's not actually sticking. But if you push down, you've immediately got your two marks. And then go in with an awl and drill your holes. Easy. There we go. Nice and solid, no movement. We're done. Ish. Only tighten bushing half a turn past snug to avoid damaging your guitar. Never been told that before. Well, that makes sense. You don't want to uh, strip the thread or anything on, on that. In you go. Now, what, pray sir, is the definition of snug? Hmm, I'm very interested to see what happens with I've got strings on here. Okay, onwards we go. Well, here we are. The, the headstock has lost, uh, I don't know, <laughs> a millimeter or two, it's fairly thin, but, uh, those work very well. I think those dimples are growing on me, to be honest. Anyway, more on the tuners later. I have a very dry fretboard. The frets are still polished and nice, uh, but I'm gonna hit them with a fret rubber anyway. We make a range of fret polishing rubbers. They are abrasives in rubber, and as well as, this is the super fine, as well as polishing the frets and giving them a fantastic, uh, fantastic shine. In fact, that's just a year of light tarnishing. You can also use these to clean the fretboard itself. The abrasive is so fine that you don't notice any scratches, but it just gets rid of any crap that might be there. Very gently. There you go, you can see just a slight difference between the two at the top and the rest. About 10 seconds of polishing and uh, you've got a, a better playing surface. On to the rest, my dears. Next up is the Crimson Guitars fretboard cleanup. This stuff is incredible and has no nasty chemicals in it, unlike pretty much every other product on the planet. Smells good too. So my early training was as a, an early stringed musical instrument maker. And uh, I always wanted to build guitars, but I thought I'd start at the top and, uh, and then go to where I wanted to be. But uh, my cleaner and restorative, so you've just seen the cleaner, and here's the restorative, which we're gonna use next. They, I, I developed them based on recipes that were two, 300 years old. Traditional lemon oil uh, is like 90% uh, oil byproducts and petroleum distillates or something like that. It's just nasty, nasty stuff. You don't want that on your skin uh, at all. So, sales bitch over. Come on then. So fold up a piece of tissue into a nice tool. On we go. And this is going to hydrate the fretboard nicely. Most of this stays in the wood or the excess gets rubbed away, unlike lemon oil, which well, most of it gets into the atmosphere, really. And I'll leave this on to penetrate for five minutes or so. Now, if you have a particularly dry fretboard, 
it will keep on sucking in oil and sucking in oil. Um, once you start to see it beading on the surface and there's no more oil going in, then you have reached parity and you can feel free to rub off the excess. Um, uh, this was done six months ago or so, I think, and uh, doesn't need more than one single coat. So, yeah, the excess will be taken off now. Use good, strong uh, tissue as well. This isn't uh, this isn't kitchen roll. This is uh, we actually sell this at Crimson if, you, if you're interested. But uh, yeah, there we go. Strings. Okay. Mm. Ow, that hurt. Uh, you don't really need to see me put strings on, do you? I'm sure you've all done this a million times. So have I. I still can't find the hole. But of course, new tuners. Ha ha ha. I wonder if I'm going to notice a difference here. Magic. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I I half expected to at this point be saying, well, I don't see the point in that. <laughs> that is. All right, that's cool. That is that is that is actually pretty cool. Uh, let's get the rest of these strings on and uh, uh, yeah. Is it is it weird that I'm this happy about a cool tuner? Nah, it's worth fine. I love it. Okay, do not forget, people, to thoroughly stretch your strings before you actually want to play. I know I'm teaching Granny to suck eggs at this point, but don't forget to do that. Now, well, we're at the end of this. A uh, little bit of fun. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe. Uh, my, I say that so flippantly, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Notification button, all that stuff. <sighs> These tuners. The concept is fantastic. The execution is excellent, as is the case with every single thing I've ever experienced from Graftec, uh, to be honest. Their, I use their piezo system in, in fact, the piezo and uh, what do they call it? The acoustophonic system, as well as the uh, hexaphonic system. I use it in the Robert Fripp model that we built, um, and it is superb. Just, just a fantastic company. So uh, this is not a paid endorsement uh, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I just had a set of these knocking around and have never experienced them and wanted to. So there we go. Um, not that I'm not beyond, you know, doing paid endorsements uh, if I actually like the product. That's noisy. Okay, anyway. My, my only issue with them is 
the aesthetics of it. Uh, I think the fact that they've put those plates in there is incredible. Uh, anybody that is putting uh, a new set of these on is very, very likely to have holes that need to be covered up. And that, that that's fantastic. I think that if they were um, plated to the same level of finish as the tuners, then that would look amazing. The issue with that obviously is the, is the cost therein. I would suggest that maybe Graftec should offer um, the ability to purchase a, a better quality, high, more highly plated and, and better finished uh, plate to match. You're putting these things onto a, 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 you know, your guitar, which is going to be your pride and joy, and you want it to be look, looking as, as fantastic as possible. And I personally don't particularly like the little dimples, although I do like the tactile result of them. So, so I may well change my tune on that. This is my personal guitar. I played a lot and uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at the real Ben Crow and uh, in like six months time and ask me what I think of these uh, at that point or follow us on at on Instagram again at Crimson Guitars, at VintageToolShop.com, at the Vintage Tool Shop. Ah, I don't know, whatever. All of these things. Leave me alone, I want to play my guitar. Bye. I say play my guitar, I'm going to stand here for about half an hour just going. Beautiful. Shut up. Goodbye. See you soon.